Now probably what I would like to do is to have a nice finish in this area. So I would like to do some filigree to cover this empty or this hollow area. All right, so first let me just save the part where we have the gems. So we have first the base that is totally parametric. We have this part with all the gems. And now let's go back to curves and I will duplicate the edge. So I have this edge. I have also this edge. Now I will create a loft. So between this line and this line. I'm select these lines because they are group the control shift. So we have now this surface. That is the surface that I will use to place filigree. I can use many, so I will be able to use either from transform, I could use the smart pattern, from curves, I could use, and actually I can show you. So I can use the jelly on this one, so I could go to jelly, I could select a pattern like this one. And I will get I would get something like this that I could scale. All right, so I could do something like this, and this is cool because we have many different options. All right, keep in mind that when we are doing that, we always you know we are using wire to make this, so we need to, you know to recalculate where we place the wire because uh, it needs to follow the the ring rail. All right, so now that we have all this area what I will do is use the pipe there we go pipe I select the curves these are the curves and now I from here I can select what do I want so I would like to go to 0 0.25 0 0.25 all right so I will get this pattern and the last step go into cutters cut to ring select the surfaces, these are the surfaces and now probably there is a lot of different pipes here so I validate so now we have this pattern in this area okay so it looks, let me just select this one and hide so now we have this area that it looks nicer Alright, so the ring will be lighter, so it will be very, very nice.